Chris, our new head football coach, has worked tireless hours to get the right guy for the job, and he has got the right guy for the job. A tremendous resume that I think you'll be very, very impressed with. Athletic Director Kevin Anderson with the introduction today of our new head football coach. Kevin? Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Well, it's a great day to be a Terp. Before I get started, and Johnny, you left a lot of stuff up here. <laughs> First and foremost, I want to thank you for coming this morning, and then I want to welcome this lovely family of yours, DJ. Sarah, Abigail, Luke, your father and mother, Dan and Marie, Mar Marianne, sorry about that. Uh, welcome, welcome to our family, and uh, we're looking forward to great things to come here. So, prior to beginning this extensive search, uh, we had this process and we outlined the qualities of what we wanted in our next football coach. The qualities included having a strong and dynamic leader with a great energy for our program, an innovative football mind, being engaging and have a great personality that would uh, appeal to our fan base and to our donors and to our alumni. We wanted somebody with a strong background who had a great winning pedigree, and we wanted somebody who was going to be a national and a great recruiter. Most importantly though, we wanted somebody who had a winning attitude and came from a winning culture. The other thing was that we wanted somebody who was gonna build these young men to be strong role models and achieve academically in the classroom. So through this extensive search, we found that person, the right person for our job, and that is DJ, DJ Durkin. DJ's been a coordinator of defenses that have been ranked among the top 15 in the nation for three years, including Michigan this year, and uh, we were on the bad side of that shutout. He had three consecutive shutouts, which I think never happened in Michigan's history before. He helped lead teams to five consecutive bowl appearances. His defense is the primary reason that Michigan was ranked number 10 this season. The four recruiting classes he worked with, the University of Florida, were ranked in, amongst the top 11 in the nation, and he was acknowledged and rewarded as being recruiter of the year for that year. His last three years in Florida, he had four first round draft choices. While in Florida, he recruited nine five stars that played on the defensive side of the ball. Most impressive with DJ is he's worked with tremendous people. Jim Harbaugh, Urban Meyer, Tyrone Willingham, Dan Quinn and David Shaw. He comes from the most prestigious football programs in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, our new football coach, DJ Drew. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Thanks everyone for being here. It's uh, amazing the turnout we've had. Um, it, 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 this is really cool. I've been uh, waiting for this day for, for a long, long time, preparing for it, and uh, uh, it's finally here. And, and to, to, to say the least, I'm very excited. Um, I want to thank Dr. Lowe, um, Kevin Anderson, Damon Evans, uh, the entire search committee. It, it was a it was a very uh, thorough process. Uh, it was an enjoyable process. I think we, we learned a lot about one another. Um, you know, at the start of it, going into it, and I, I think you know. Obviously, coming out of the back end, um, it, it was a it was a good marriage. I think on, on both sides of it. So uh, I'm very thankful for that. Um, I would like to also take a minute and, and thank uh, Jim Harbaugh and the University of Michigan. Um, I can't tell you enough how supportive uh, Jim and uh, his staff and Jim Hackett they've all been throughout this entire process. And he's everyone knows him as a, as a great coach, and he is he's an even better person. And so very fortunate for uh, for the time I was able to spend with him. Um, I would like to take a minute, I know Kevin already introduced, but we have some, some special people, special people to me here uh, that I'd like to introduce. This is my wife, Sarah. Um, 
She's right there in front. Uh, I, I truly believe that the way this goes in coaching, you, you know, your wife is every bit a part of the job as you are, um, and that, that's how we attack this thing. Um, this is our job, our profession, and uh, there's no one better than Sarah. You have to have a special, special woman, special lady to be, be your wife, be a coach's wife, and so she's the best. Yeah. And then, uh, sit, yeah, give her a hand. Right. <laughs> Sitting next to Sarah is Abigail. Abigail is five years old, going on 17. Um, she she also has has her opinions about it. And uh, when uh, when I broke the news to Abigail that, that, that you know we were going to be moving again, and she was she was excited about that. And I explained her is you know for a head coaching job, and I thought she'd be you know pretty excited about that, which she was. And then uh, she didn't take much time to look right at me and go, you know, it's about time you become a head coach. So I guess I've been I've been disappointed her all along, but fi finally got that done. So. And then, uh, and then we have Luke here. Luke is two years old, over three in February, and uh, he will be jumping out of his seat within the next 30 seconds. So everyone just, just bear with us on that. There's Luke. Um, I also have my mom and dad here uh, with us, uh, Dan and Mary Ann Durkin. And um, very, very, very fortunate to have, have great parents that have been, been very supportive all along. And, and to have them here today is uh, very special to me. Um, <clears throat> I guess, the next obvious question is, okay, why, why Maryland? Why are you here? And, and, and you know, to, to me, it was an easy one. I, I, I think, uh, personally, I really identify with, with, with this program. I think this is a blue collar place, a blue collar university, a blue collar program. I think we compete in one of the best, best divisions, uh, best conferences in the country. And, um, you know, I embrace competition. I, I want to recruit guys that embrace that competition. So to me, it, it, it's an easy sell. Um, People will make places what they are. I have found that out throughout my time of coaching. I've, I've been fortunate to be, be involved with some, some great programs, great universities. Uh, but you know, each one of those places, it's the people that make them what they are. And just going through the process with everyone in the search committee and, and the administration from Kevin on down, and just it, it, everyone's in alignment and, and pushing in the same direction and, and really wanting this thing to go. And, and uh, you know, just, just great people. I and mean, I, I just got that, that feeling all the way through it. And uh, you know, so just couldn't wait to be a part of it. Um, on the field, I'm, I'm sure we get plenty of questions of what we're going to be like on the field and all that. And, and, and you know, I don't know how specific we'll be with that, but I, I, I just, a couple things with our program. Um, <clears throat> we're going to bring in quality student athletes. Um, they're going to help us compete for championships. I mean, that, that's what we're all here for. All right, we need, we need guys that can, they can help us win on the field and compete for championships and, and be quality young men. Um, we're going to bring in guys that, that, that they want to get degrees and want to graduate, guys that are motivated to do that. And, and we're going to help them with that motivation and, and graduation. And, um, and, and lastly, we're going to prepare guys for, for life after football, uh, whether that's in the NFL or, or you know, the, uh, some other profession. Um, that is our job. I, I, I take that responsibility very seriously. The reason uh, Sarah and I are in this profession and what we're doing is, is to, to help young men and, and be around people and, and help them somehow, you know, have confidence and have success in their life. And so that, that, that's, that's what our program is going to do. We will be aggressive in everything we do. Um, if, 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 if there's anything you know about, about my history and where I've been and been able, been able to, to coordinate and, and, and coach, um, we are we're the aggressors. So we're going to be aggressive in everything we do. So offensively, defensively, special teams, uh, in the classroom, in, in off-season workouts, we will be aggressive in everything we do. And, and like I said, I, I, I truly believe in being a blue-collar, hard-working team. Um, you know, I, I think you can out-effort people. I think you can out effort people on the field and off the field in, in, in what you do, and that's that's what I know. That that's that's where I'm from, from you know, from the ground up back back uh, my hometown of Youngstown, Ohio. Um, I, I've learned those values a long time ago, and that, that's what we'll be. And so, uh, you know, with that, I will uh, open this up to any questions. All right, guys, we'll take questions. Just raise your hand. Please state your name and uh, affiliation away from the microphone. Daniel Gallon from the Baltimore Sun. Uh, when you look at this program in coming here, when you look at what's already in place and what's been done over the past few years, you know what about it right now makes it an attractive job? And you know with what's in place, you know is there anything that you look at now that you're thinking about keeping in place moving forward, or is it a little too early for that? Yeah, I mean, the attraction of this job is that I, I think there's already good talent in the building, and I, I think right in our backyard is one of the richest town areas in the country. 
you know, I think we, we have to do a great job of, of recruiting and keeping those guys close to home. But that, that, that's our job as coaches, go, go recruit and go like crazy and do it. And, and, you know, anytime you have that advantage in your backyard, you, you have a strong enough pool where you can, you can feel the team from that. I think it's a huge advantage because there's not a lot of those places, in, you know, in the country. And so um, I, I think, you know, competing in, in our conference in the division we're in, like I said, I, I see it as a huge positive. We, we want guys that want to go play in those games. You know, we want guys that did embrace that challenge and want to go play in those types of atmospheres, those games. And that's what we get to do week in and week out with where we're at. When subs from the Washington Post, um, do you have a timeline of when you might fill out your staff and, and how much of a priority is to do that quickly to, to hit the ground running, recruiting, and to get everything up and going? Yeah, uh, not quickly. I mean, we'd be very uh, deliberate about it. Um, you know, as, as, the, as the right guys uh, come forward, we'll, we'll keep you know, working with it as we move forward. We're in the middle of a recruiting period right now, and, and um, you know, we have, we have a group of guys on staff here that are currently working and recruiting that I, you know, I need to get with and, and uh, go, go through the board with them on. Um, but but I, I, we're gonna do this right and get the right people in here. With our staff, we're gonna get people that, that, you know, that have a purpose, good people, good, good family men that, that, that understand the game and, and uh, understand what we're gonna be all about in this program. And you know, however long that takes to get them is, is, is how long we'll take to do it. Alex, over here. <laughs> right. uh, Alex Kirshner with the Steeler Times. Um, I'm, I'm curious, and Kevin just mentioned some of the coaches that you've worked with before. Um, what qualities do you hope to take from the Urban Myers and, and the Jim Harbaugh's that you can apply here? And also, just quickly, have you given thought that it could be uh, coaching a ball game with, with Michigan? Yeah, okay, so, with, you know, it's funny, as coaches, you, you, I've been very fortunate to be around some of the, some of the best there is. As coaches, you always take bits and pieces from people you've worked for, worked with. Um, you know, you're, you're always learning, you're always evolving. Um, so, I mean, there, there, there's a long list of things that I've, I've learned from the gentleman you, you've mentioned, as well as the other guys I've worked with and worked for. And, you know, I, I think the most important thing as a coach is, is you, you, you put your own stamp on it, your own personality. You know, you don't, don't try and be someone else and, and do it, you know, just the way they did it because. Do it the way you know you want to do, and what's, what's true to yourself. And so, um, that, that, that's that's how we'll we'll operate here. And, and obviously, those are great guys that we're from. We'll continue to, to lean on and, and and communicate with. And um, you know, that, that's all part of it. Um, in, in terms of the bowl game, I will not be coaching the bowl game at Michigan. Um, uh, I, I said to the players earlier today when we had a team meeting. Um, j just so, and, and obviously, we're, we're all getting to know each other here in this room. Uh, I am a uh, all-in type of guy, and, and, and to me, it's it's uh, you know, if I'm here, I'm here. And so I think splitting between would have been really hard for me to do, and, and, and I'm here and want to go do it. And, and again, I, I can't say enough about the support that University of Michigan and, and Jim Harbaugh, Jim Hack, and everyone has had for me to, to allow me to, to go do that. And, uh, and also the players at Michigan, I mean, those guys were phenomenal. They really bought in and did a, did a heck of a job this year. And, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to miss those guys. and know they'll, they'll do a great job in the game. DJ, uh, right, straight in front of you here. Sorry. Straight in front of you. Uh, Pat Tom here from Terrapin Sports Report. Uh, first off, congratulations. And um, secondly, you were named the National Recruiter of the, Recruiter of the Year in 2012 by uh, Rivals.com. Uh, what makes you such an effective recruiter? And you mentioned you know, wanting to bring in guys who embrace the competition of the, the Big Ten East. What are some other qualities you're looking for in, in the guys you want to bring in? Yeah, I, I think you know, recruiting is it's a... Um, it's, it's, it's one of those things you got to do every, every single day. You got to be relentless and tireless about it. And, and I, I think, again, like I said about coaching, I think you just be yourself. You know, some some guys are you know fast talkers and salesmen, and all that. And some guys are you know everyone has their own way. And in, in, in my way is I'm I'm very straightforward and honest with people, and, and I'm just you know I'm genuine with, with with my dealings with them. Just just keep going through it. I think you know the year you mentioned about being named recruiter of the year and all. And obviously, anytime you're named those types of types of awards. Um, you know, it's rewarding, it's exciting, but, but you know what? There's so many people that go into to recruiting a guy, to actually signing a guy. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of a humbling thing to say, you know, that wasn't me. I mean, it was, we had an entire recruiting staff, um, not to mention the rest of the coaches on that staff that did, did a phenomenal job, all part of it. Obviously, the head coach is a huge part of it. There's so many people that go into it, and, and that, that's the recruiting process has become that. There's so many people involved. It's got to be a, a total team effort, and, and, and that year in particular, and in, in all years, that it really was. DJ Don Marcus from the Baltimore Sun. <laughs> Your familiar, familiarity with, with guys like coaches like Urban Meyer, Jim Harbaugh, and, and even coaching you know, in the Big Ten this year. You talk about competing for championships. You obviously know how difficult that will be. 
What gives you the feeling that you could do that at a place like the University of Maryland? Yeah, I think it all starts with any any good organization has proper alignment.